Hello. As a part of the Colorado Mountain Club, I was hosting one of the cabins in Rocky Mountain National Park one year, and there were three of us there, and we'd been out cross-country skiing all day, and come in, and was, we were making our dinner, and all of a sudden, uh, somebody went out to maybe break some ice and get some water or something from the stream, and as they were there, that we heard a little dog barking. There was this little tiny, tiny dog, little white, snowball sort of doggy, and he kept barking and barking, so we thought, well, come on, you know, if we're, why are you out here all by yourself? So he uh, <laughs> kept barking and running away and running away and coming back and barking again. So we finally said, well, something's not right here. What in the world is going on? And we put on our skis and began to follow the dog, and he led us about a half a mile back down the trail. And we found his master. Um, there was a young man there who had been out skiing alone, did not have a partner, no one knew where he was, and he had a compound fracture. The bone was actually sticking out of his uh, leg. So we were able to come back, get the sled. We had to make a, a temporary splint, be able to, we brought him back, fed him soup, um, got him warmed up. We didn't have any phones or any cell phones back in those days, but again, it's just a lesson for all of us to know that we need to have companion, we need to have someone with us to ski. If you go out in the park or in the winter, you definitely need to let someone know where you are and to have uh, make provisions for yourself and have someone with you. So that was our adventure in Rocky Mountain National Park as part of Colorado Mountain Club.